Hey, welcome everybody and welcome to another episode of Story Times with Morales. My name's Christian. This week I wanted to give a quick shout out to all the medical staff, everybody working on this coronavirus. I want to be the first one to say thank you for everything you guys are doing. Uh, I know I don't have enough words to express myself to tell you guys how much of a hard work you guys are doing. And I know it might be hard going home and not being able to see your kids, spend time with your family because of everything that you guys are going through. And hey, I'm not trying to get political in this show and shit like that. But hey, don't listen to the negative shit, okay? Just know that we are, the people that do believe in you guys are very thankful for everything that you guys are doing. Now, that got me thinking as well, right? Growing up, we all had heroes. We all knew... Right, we all wanted to be someone, whether it was a fictional character, which whether it was a, a real person. Now, this conversation would not be based upon our parents, right, or our grandparents. That's a given. Those are people that we literally look up to because we grew up with them. Okay, I'm talking about other persons besides them that you guys probably look up into. Now, for me, I always I, I grew up watching Dragon Ball Z, so for me, it was. I always wanted to be Goku, right? I can see myself turning into a Super Saiyan, getting angry. My mom thought that I was having like an aneurysm and shit. Okay. And people my age around, you know, some of us that were, you know, between the ages of 30 and 35. I'm 25, by the way. Um, are thinking that they could have been turned to Super Saiyan, right? But my brother would ask me, why do you want to be him so bad? It is not the fictional shit about it. It's not the fact that, you know, he can fly and have this super strength. It was more the fact of me thinking, hey, he never gives up, right? He never leaves nobody behind. That's how you should be treating friends, right? Like, you don't leave no one behind. If they have an issue, you do your best to try to help them out. But, of course, as I grew up, I started, you know, realizing that there's other people that I can look up to. Now, one of my one of my greatest, you know, I guess role models, you can say, you know, it's, it's, it's his name is Andres Guardado. For me, you know, he's a role model to me and myself because I go up thinking that he can be, you know, a, a great person to follow. The fact that he doesn't give up, the fact that he leaves everything and he leaves 100% into the field, right? He does the best that he can in the in, in the field. Um, now, he, you know, I'm sorry to, I didn't explain it. He is a soccer player, right? He plays for the Mexican uh, country. He come out of the best club in the world, you know, Club Atlas, Okay. <laughs> Regardless, <laughs> regardless of what these haters are talking about here, okay. Re no, Messi. Regard, regardless of what the haters are talking about here, okay. All right, all right. He's the best player Mexico has taken out. All right, all right. The best thing that has ever happened to Mexico. And 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 just to say, just to just to put a note out there for the for the haters out there, the next second player in Mexican league that came out of Atlas. Rafa Marquez, all right. I need all, I need all these haters to talk to me about someone that you know I don't know Chivas has taken out and has won Champions League, but they're not. So I'm just gonna drink my tea and wait for that answer. Ah, quiet, of course. So that's how it's going. Okay, that's how I was going to say it. Right. For me, he has showed us. For me, he has showed me that if if whatever you do in war, whatever you do in your life, right. You got to do the best that you do, right? If like, if you're a uh, box, if, if you're stacking boxes, you better be the best box stalker ever, right? Because you want to give your best. You want to show that you are willing to do whatever it takes to show that you're good at what you do. Now, my dad has always talked to me about the fact that people are always gonna, there's always someone out there that's better than you. And that's what you, for me, that's what my heroes would do, right? But like what Guardado would show me is, you know, I know there's somebody out there better than me, but I'm going to try to be the best, right? So now with the whole Corona thing, right? We People talk about and, and, and go crazy nuts. All the medical staff, the just line. Look, again, I'm not trying to get political, right? But for me, the medical staff, if it wasn't for the medical staff, right, doing what they do, I probably would have lost a few people a lot, a lot that I love. My brother got into an accident when he was young. It was the doctors, the nurses that really helped by, help him go through and, and have a, a, a regular life now. The medical staff brought my child into these worlds, right? They helped deliver them. So before anybody starts talking about the real MVPs or the, the or the real heroes of today's time, 
we got to go ahead and think, what have they done for me, right? So, who has been a hero for you guys? Who has been somebody that you guys look up to? Hey, go ahead and go and, and comment down below. I want to hear those, right? Who is the, that person that you say, you know what? This is who I look up to. This is what I'm, I model myself after, okay? Now, please go ahead and like and comment. I want to hear those stories, okay? I want to see what it is that you guys like um again welcome again please welcome and um, thank you for listening watching my show and just to let go of before atlas is the best club in the world <laughs>